Hey everybody, it's Ansel again and welcome back. Today we'll be taking a look at the TKD Cycle 8, the natural progression to the Cycle 7. And honestly, if you like that keyboard, I think you're gonna love this one. So first off, I think this board looks really, really good. You can either keep it super simple with having the top case plain, or you can add the sort of like infinity RGB strip on the top. Either way, I think they both look great, although I do prefer the RGB thing. The bottom of the case is also pretty nice. You can get the sort of like PVD type thing on the bottom. Mine's only brushed, but I do think with all the extra upgrades, it's pretty sweet looking. The badge is also a really nice touch too. The side profile, while nothing crazy, has just enough flair to be like, cool, I guess. It totally fits in with the overall design language of the board as a whole. And overall, I think the board looks really great. Also, the board is really easy to put together and take apart. You got the whole ball cache design system and it's really, really sturdy. Only problem is you kind of got this ribbon cable. I hate ribbon cables. That's all I have to say about that. Maybe it's a price constraint, but again, I don't like ribbon cables, but I'll let it pass the sign because of how cheap the board is. Overall, really good looking keyboard, really well built. And I love the fact that it's easy to build. It's just, again, I hate ribbon cables. Now moving on to sound and feel, first off, you can kind of change the mounting style either to these little gasket beans or these little gasket o-rings, I don't know. They're great, but honestly I don't think they make that much of a difference. I think the gasket beans give a bit of a softer typing feel, but overall between the two I don't think they make that much of a difference. The overall typing feel of the board though is pretty comfortable, it's relatively soft, I mean it's not super flexible or bouncy, but I think you can get kinda there. My board has a relatively thick FR4 plate and no real flex cuts, so keep that in mind. Overall. Not a very flexible or bouncing typing feel, but honestly, it's comfortable enough for me. Now, sound wise, I think the board is pretty good. It leans a little mid tone ish, but I think it's still a relatively high pitched board, just a little more mid tone than your typical high pitched board. It's very nice. It's pretty full. There's a little bit of hollowness, and honestly, I think that could be remedied by adding some brass inserts rather than the foam weights that I was given. But otherwise, I think it's a very good sounding board. And if you can afford it, I would highly recommend going for those brass inserts. I think it's going to elevate the keyboard sound just that much. But overall, great sounding keyboard. Very very clean, very mid-toned to high-pitched kind of leaning type of thing. Um, I have no problems with it. It's great. Now let's talk value, and honestly, I think this thing is like incredible value at about $160 starting price, I believe. In my current configuration, I believe it's about $180 or $200, just because it seems like I have the brass battery cover. I can't really tell by looking at it, and I do have the TKD coating, which is an extra 10 bucks, and then you got the hot swap. Whatever, at the base price, it's about $160. It's really good value and I don't think there's much to match it other than, well, you've seen it before, but the Lumen Key 80 and the Neo 80. And personally, while I do prefer the Neo 80 because one, I love that like really nice anodization and two, I think it sounds better for me, my own preferences. I don't think you can go wrong with this keyboard or any other of those other keyboards. They're all within spitting distance. So I think you should go for the one that you like the most. This one in particular though, Wonderful keyboard. As long as you don't mind having a higher pitched keyboard, I think this is the move. It's really easy to build. Its only real downside is the ribbon cable, in my opinion. Overall, go for it if you like it. I think it's totally worth the money. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day and hope to see you next time. Peace.